I reckon this bloke has to be one of the luckiest road train drivers around. Middle of Peterborough and he's managed to find parking. How fantastic. Just don't know where the driver is. But apart from that, he's actually got a trailer load there of camels. Now that's an unusual cargo to carry, but I'm sure he's going to enjoy it. Today, my name's Barbara. I wonder whether you'd like to tell me about your truck and your load that you're carrying. Well, my truck and my load, we travelled out to the desert where we mustered the camels, wild horses, wolves, wild wolves, yeah. uh, which we bring to Peterborough, yeah. uh, which is mainly for human consumption, the abattoirs. Yeah. Uh, this trip on uh, got some cows, oh, camel cows, yeah. that are going to go to Victoria to be milked on a dairy. Yeah. So they're going to. And what do they do with the milk, do you know? Sell it. $25 yeah. a litre. For what? For human Super food for the yuppies in Melbourne. <laughs> yes, mate, I won't be buying it, will I? <laughs> it's uh, supposed to have all the right ingredients ingredients for kids yeah. and all that type of thing because the Afghans used to live on it there in the right, desert. Okay. So that's yeah. So it'll be for, not for the Afghan community, it's, no, no, no. It's the, it'll be in supermarkets and yeah. and all that. So did, what happens to these animals? Do they, do they stay in Melbourne or do they go elsewhere? No, no, they'll be up in uh, Stanhope, Victoria. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well actually we're having a dairy sale in Shepparton, so yeah. By all, all, you, all you camel boys that oh, want a camel and right. super food yep. <laughs> and milk, come to uh, Shepparton at the end of the month for yeah. a dairy sale. Yeah. So how long does it take you? You leave Shepparton and you go out to the outback. Whereabouts do you go? North of Broken Hill or? No, I'm uh, at the moment I'm at Wateroo. Wateroo? No, I don't which know. Which right near the Western Australia and Northern Territory borders. So that's where these camels have come from. Fair yeah, dinkum. That's where they've come from. Geez, that's a long way. Yeah, so 2,200 kilometres. Now, can I ask you a question? Now, they're standing up the back there now. Do they, are they let out of there at all during the travelling? No, the camels sit down when they travel. Right, they sit down, but at night, do they get to move or do they stay in there? No, they stay in there because that's, they're comfortable. Yep. And they sit. Yep. So you, what we do is we feed them for a week, yep. water them and all that before we load them, so handle them yep. uh, and look after them, sort of get them used to sort of calm, calm them down. Yep. And yeah, we, we feed them and water them and then we load them and then That's they nice. sit in the truck and they travel quite nicely because they all sit down with their feet yep. underneath them yeah, and, uh, and they're very comfortable. Mate, it's been less, my lucky less, day coming to less you. Handling, less handling, the better. Yeah, exactly. Now, it is your lucky day. It is my I'm lucky day. i want about $25,000 an hour. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> and would you like to tell me your name? So. Peter. Peter. Well, thank you very much, Peter, and I wish you well. Thank you. Thank you.